Hello, my name is Dave Shirk. I am National Sales Manager for Innovative Air Technologies in Covington, Georgia, and welcome to our manufacturing facility. Today I'm going to take you on a guided tour of one of our solid desiccant dehumidification units. I'm going to start on its inlet, I'm going to work my way through its outlet, I'm going to talk about every component, and I'm going to tell you what it does. So come on, let's get started. We're starting on the process inlet side. This unit happens to be an indoor unit, so you see a, a duct attachment, and it could be a unit that would be located outside. In that case, this inlet would typically have a hood and a damper assembly. Our next component in direction of airflow is some type of air filter. This happens to be a MERV 13 filter, but could be any type or efficiency specified by the end user. The higher the MERV rating, the more efficient it is at extracting smaller sized particles from the entering airstream. As we continue our journey, we see a pre-cooling coil and a drain pan. This coil could be either chilled water or direct expansion, depending on the specific project requirements. Our next component is the desiccant wheel and the heart of our dehumidifier. It consists of a circular substrate material, usually made of fiberglass, aluminum, or ceramic. It is constructed with fluted passages through which air can flow. The substrate is impregnated with silica gel, and as humid process air flows through the wheel in one direction, it encounters the desiccant. Water molecules move from the air into the silica gel to be adsorbed and removed in the process. You may notice a small bypass duct and damper located directly below the wheel. This provides a downstream mixture which can be controlled to the environmental set point of the indoor space, enabling the unit to maintain precise dew point temperatures or relative humidities. From here, the process air enters a fan assembly and is discharged through the end of the unit into field supplied ductwork which conveys the air to the environment to be controlled. We move now to the opposite side of our unit it is important to note that the wheel is continuously rotating between the process and reactivation sides of the unit. You can see an air opening and damper from which we will bring in outdoor air for the purpose of reactivating the wheel. This air stream may be elevated in temperature to somewhere between 120 degrees Fahrenheit to 285 degrees Fahrenheit. This allows the adsorbed water molecules to break their bond with the silica gel and be removed. The drier the wheel, the more moisture which can be adsorbed in the process side and the lower the dew point temperature delivered to the indoor space. We move on to the reactivation air outlet where the air leaving our unit at this point has been slightly cooled due to what is known as the latent heat of vaporization, but it is loaded with moisture at an extremely high dew point temperature. So that concludes our tour of one of our solid desiccant dehumidification units. If Innovative Air Technologies can support your needs when it comes to dehumidification, please reach out to us at any time.